Hello, beautiful, magical people. Welcome back to another episode of Noemi Makes Things. I'm Noemi, and you guessed it, I love making things. So today I'd like to show you some knitting projects that I've been working on. Um, a while ago, I knit this sock. Um, it's called a si Simple Stripes Sock. And this was a free knitting pattern I got. And oh my god, this is really funny. The sock is gigantic because I used a much thicker yarn than I should have used. And I, I knew it was going to come out oversized, but I thought it would be baggy. I didn't realize it would kind of look like a sock for a basketball player. <laughs> so I, I did this pattern because I really... Um, I wanted to learn how to do Fair Isle two-color knitting, and I wanted to do a pattern to, to um, knit from a knitting pattern, which ha had a lot of different patterns, as in like pattern design patterns going on in it, so that I could just get um, get a sense of how they worked. So I I loved it. This was perfect. This was a perfect pattern to learn to learn from and so uh, after um, doing this pattern I made this sneaker and I cast um, I did a plaster cast of my foot and um, and then so I started to knit this um, to knit this sock kind of I, w I was like inspired by what I learned from doing the simple stripes pattern and um, but I was freestyling it and kind of making my own design to fit around this uh, plaster cast I have and so this um, the colorful yarn that I'm using is all one it's one yarn that's like a multicolored neon yarn it's called day glow um, I believe it's Red Heart Super Saver Day Glow. So I wasn't able to um, find that yarn online for a little while. So then I found um, what I thought would be like similar colors. I ordered some magenta and orange um, alpaca wool. And um, I'll put a link down below for where I ordered this yarn. And it feels great. Um, what happened is that the color isn't exactly, it's not as neon as I thought it would be. Um, so then I decided to not make a sneaker out of it because I wanted the sneaker to have, I really like how the sneaker looks with the day glow yarn. So I decided, um, okay, let me see what else I can make. And it's so luxurious, like the alpaca yarn feels so nice. Um, so... Um, I decided, hey, let me start making a sweater. That's that's something I noticed when I when I first started the Simple Stripes sock pattern, my oversized version of it. Um, I'm doing like when I'm doing the the ribbing for the ankle. I remember I was just putting it on my um, on my hand and it was saying, hey, this looks like a sweater. I should really make a sweater like this. So now I'm making a tangent project where I am working on a sweater and so far I have been not looking at any sweater patterns or sleeve patterns I'm just like knitting knitting the sleeve from the wrist up and I have been doing um I was doing it all just kind of like a tube a rectangular tube but now it's feeling a bit too tight so I'm adding some make one left and make one right increases and so i want to show you guys a little bit of the knitting process and my fair isle knitting techniques um, another thing that i would like to say is that i was afraid of um, two colored knitting. I thought it would be really difficult and really complicated. And what I would say to anyone who's curious about doing two colored knitting, um, I would say just 
uh, watch them, watch this video, watch other videos, and just try it. Um, it is definitely not as mindless as one color knitting can be, but it is not as difficult as you may think it is. And it's really satisfying and fun. It feels, it really feels like you're a 3D printer when you're two color knitting because you can make patterns. Oh my God. I really like looking at the sleeve right now. And, and the really nice thing is when you blur your eyes, this is something I learned from art school is kind of like when you blur your eyes, color can mix in your eyes. So it's really nice to do color knitting and you can think of gradients that you can do. You can have like it go from yellow to orange to red, do little like fire flames and something. The possibilities are endless. I'm so excited. So, without further, further ado, let me bring the camera in closer so you can see close up. Let's get into doing some color knitting. Let's work on this sleeve. So um, now I just have to finish off my row and then I'll get to where I have a stitch marker and that's where I'm doing the make one left and make one right increases. and. Um, so let me just show you how I'm doing the two color knitting. So um, when I just uh, am starting up doing color knitting, I like to um, just knit with the yarn in my right hand and then I just um, uh, use one yarn and then I use the other yarn. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and knit like this for the rest of this needle. Now on this needle, I'm gonna show you um, that I like to, um, when I'm getting more into a project and I'm um, knitting faster, I like to um, wrap one color around my right hand and one color around my left hand. And then I just alternate um, knitting with either yarn. So as I'm working on this sleeve, I am doing, um, I'm starting to add some increases in. And so, um, based on um, Carbeth card cardigan that I found online, I am going to be doing make one left and make one right increases. And so what I am doing is I will be doing make one left increases at the beginning of the row, and then I will be doing make one right increases at the end of the row. So first you find the bar that's between the two stitches and then you take your left needle and go from the front to the back and I kind of stretch it. Then you take your right needle and go knit into the back of the stitch and just pull your thread over and there you've done a make one left. And let's do it at instant replay again. Find the bar that's between them. And then your left needle. Go under the bar from the front to the back. Then your right needle, you knit through the back of that stitch. It's a little tricky. And then you just knit that stitch off. So as you can see, I've knit all the way around um, this round, um, and so I did a make one increase, make one left increase on in the very beginning of the round. Now I have my last stitch for the round, and I will be doing a make one right increase now. So you find the bar that's between the stitches, and with the left needle, go from the back to the front. And then with your right needle, you're going to knit through the front of the stitch. It's a little tight, so you just kind of have to push it there and perfect. And then you just knit that stitch off the needle. And let's see that again. From the back to the front, pull it a bit, and then with your right needle, 
you knit through the front of the stitch. And yeah, take your time and then you knit and make one right. So as you can see, um, the make one left and make one right increases are creating a V in the sleeve. I can, I'm kind of like developing the pattern for this sleeve for this sweater. And then, yeah, I can write it down and then I'll have the pattern for my other sleeve for this sweater. And eventually get the pattern out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this content and you want to see more, please subscribe, like the video, hit the bell notifications, and um, I'll be editing some videos and uh, posting hopefully a bunch of videos very soon. All right, see you later. Stay safe, stay happy, stay beautiful, stay magical. Love and peace to everyone.